Snow White is a timeless fairy tale that has captivated readers for centuries. Although there have been numerous adaptations and retellings, Paul Hines version stands out for its poetic and evocative language, as well as its unique interpretation of the classic narrative. This literary analysis will delve into the thematic elements, characterizations, and narrative techniques employed by Hines to breathe new life into this age-old tale. Hines' adaptation begins with a sense of foreboding, using vivid imagery to describe the queen's desire for a child as red as blood, as white as snow, and as black as the wood of the window frame. This sets the tone for the entire narrative, foreshadowing the contrasting elements that will play a crucial role in the story. The language itself becomes a powerful tool, enhancing the atmospheric tension and drawing readers into the magical world Heinz has crafted. One striking aspect of Heinz's adaptation is the depth of characterization given to Snow White. Unlike the passive, one-dimensional figure often found in traditional versions, Heinz Snow White is portrayed as a resilient and courageous young woman. Her internal struggles, as well as her external conflicts with the Wicked Queen, contribute to a more dynamic and engaging character. Hines introduces a sense of agency in Snow White, allowing her to navigate the challenges of her world actively. The Wicked Queen, too, receives nuanced treatment in Hines' adaptation. Her motivations are explored in greater detail, providing readers with insight into the psychological complexities that drive her actions. Heinz delves into the queen's insecurity and obsession with beauty, transforming her into a more empathetic, albeit still malevolent, character. This added layer of depth to both protagonist and antagonist elevates the narrative beyond a simple tale of good versus evil. Heinz also introduces symbolic elements that enrich the thematic tapestry of Snow White. The poisoned apple, a central motif in the story, becomes a potent symbol of temptation and the consequences of vanity. Heinz infuses the apple with layers of meaning, making it a metaphor for the allure of external beauty and the dangers of succumbing to societal expectations. This symbolism adds a thought-provoking dimension to the narrative, inviting readers to reflect on broader themes beyond the immediate plot. The narrative structure of Heinz's adaptation is noteworthy for its seamless integration of traditional fairy tale elements with modern sensibilities. While maintaining the essential framework of the original story, Heinz introduces subtle changes that align the narrative more closely with contemporary perspectives on gender roles and self-empowerment. This fusion of the classic and the contemporary allows Snow White to resonate with a diverse audience, bridging the gap between the timeless charm of fairy tales and the evolving values of society. Heinz's prose is characterized by its lyrical quality, enhancing the enchanting atmosphere of the fairy tale. The language used is rich in imagery, creating a vivid mental landscape for readers to traverse. Descriptions of the forest, the cottage, and the queen's chamber are imbued with a poetic elegance that heightens the immersive experience of the story. This linguistic craftsmanship contributes to the enduring appeal of Snow White as a literary work. In conclusion, Paul Hines' adaptation of Snow White breathes fresh life into a classic tale through evocative language, nuanced characterizations, and thoughtful thematic exploration. By infusing the narrative with symbolism and modern sensibilities, Heinz crafts a timeless story that resonates with readers of all ages. This adaptation not only pays homage to the traditional fairy tale but also invites a deeper engagement with its themes, making it a compelling and enduring contribution to the rich tapestry of literary adaptations.